Are you looking for the best SSDs for gaming? In this video we will look at some of the B best SSDs for gaming. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. TAMG ROUPT Force Z540. If you're after extreme SSD performance, then TAMG ROUP's T Force Z540 should be at the top of your list of options to consider. The TAMG ROUP T Force Z540 is a fifth generation NVMe SSD that sports sequential read speeds of up to 12,400 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of up to 11,800 megabytes per s. This NVMe drive is available in either 1 terabyte or 2 terabytes capacities. It comes with a 5-year warranty or up to 1400 TB written. When it comes to performance, the T-Force Z540 performs on par with other top-gen 5 NVMe SSD options, like the Crucial T700. Although, admittedly, there still aren't a whole lot of Gen 5 SSDs out there. But, for now, of the Gen 5 options, the T-Force meets or exceed the competition in terms of pure performance. The one true competitor to the T-Force Z540 is Crucial's T700 drive, listed below. And, while both drives perform fairly similarly, we gave the nod to Team Force's offering due to the fact that it comes in at about $1.30 cheaper for both the 1 terabyte and 2 terabytes options. So, for right now, with similar performance and a lower price tag, the TAMG ROUP's T Force Z540 is our pick for the best Gen 5 SSD currently available. Number 2 Crucial T700 Another excellent PCIe 5.0 NVMe SSD option is Crucial's T700. Crucial was one of the first to launch their Gen 5 SSDs, and their T700 has widely considered to be the best option for the past six months. However, with the release of TAMG ROUP's T Force Z540, Crucial has its first real competitor. Like the Z540, the T700 comes with sequential read speeds of up to 12,400 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of up to 11,800 megabytes per second. It's available in 1 terabyte, 2 terabytes, and 4 terabytes capacities. And, really, that's the one area where the T700 stands out over the Z540, you cannot currently get a Z540 in a capacity of over 2 terabytes. So, if you're looking for a 4 terabytes SSD, the T700 will be the drive for you. But all other things considered, these two SSDs will perform on par with each other. So, the decision really comes down to price. As we mentioned above, the Z540 is priced $30 cheaper than the T700 across the 1 terabyte and 2 terabytes offerings. Unless the price of the T700 comes down, we'd recommend saving some money and opting for the Z540 instead. Number 3. Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus. For those of you that need as much storage capacity as possible, the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus offers Gen 4 NVMe SSD drives with capacities as big as 8 terabytes. The Rocket 4 Plus is no slouch when it comes to performance, as well. It offers sequential read speeds up to 7,100 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds up to 6,600 megabytes per second. As a comparison, the Rocket 4 Plus offers slightly slower speeds than our top Gen 4 SSD pick, the Samsung 990 Pro, which is listed below. And, since both drives cost about the same you might be wondering why you choose the Rocket 4 Plus over the 990 Pro. Where the Rocket 4 Plus will really make sense for buyers is for those who need large single drive capacity. With an 8TB version, Sabrent's Rocket 4 Plus is one of only a few NVMe SSD options that offer more than 4TB of storage. So, if your goal is to get the biggest Gen 4 NVMe SSD you can find, and price is no concern, then this 8TB NVMe SSD from Sabrent is the option for you. If you're looking for a smaller drive, Sabrent's other Rocket 4 Plus options are solid alternatives as well, but Samsung's 990 Pro will offer slightly better performance for a similar price. Number 4. Samsung 990 Pro. For gaming purposes, you like won't see a difference in performance between Gen 4 and Gen 5 drives. And, since Gen 5 prices are nearly double Gen 4 prices right now, it makes sense to skip Gen 5 for now. Right now, our pick for the best Gen 4 NVMe SSD, the Samsung 990 Pro, costs $140 for the 2TB drive, and our pick for the best Gen 5 NVMe SSD, the TAMG ROUP T4 C540, costs $260, also for the 2TB version. 
This Samsung 990 Pro offers sequential read speeds of up to 7,450 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of up to 6,900 megabytes per second. $4.120 more, the T-Force Z540 offers close to double the sequential read and write speeds. However, it's important to note that that will not result in double the performance in the majority of scenarios, especially in gaming. If you're doing a lot of video editing or graphics design work, though, a Gen 5 SSD might make more sense as you would actually see a real-world performance advantage. Ultimately, if your main focus is gaming performance, you will be fine choosing a Gen 4 SSD. And, of the Gen 4 SSDs out there, none offer better read-slash-write speeds than Samsung's 990 Pro. Number 5. Piney XLR 8 CS3140. If you're looking to save some money without sacrificing too much performance, one Gen 4 SSD option worth considering is PNY's XLR 8 CS3140 drives. And, more specifically, their 1TB offering. The XLR 8 CS3140 offers similar read slash write speeds, 7500-6850 MB slash S, as the Samsung Pro 990 on their 2TB and 4TB drives. However, the real value option is PNY's 1TB XLR 8 CS3140, which can be had for only $1.65. That's about $1.20 cheaper than Samsung's 1TB version of the Pro 990. The 1TB XLR 8 CS3140 does come with slower write speeds, 5,650 megabytes per second, than the 1TB Pro 990. That isn't an insignificant drop in write speeds. And, if you're planning on using your system to edit videos, or any other kind of task where you're writing a lot of data, you'd be better off choosing the Pro 990. But, for gaming use cases the difference in write speeds likely won't have a visible impact on your in-game performance. And, so, if you want to save some money to allocate to other components in your build, or if you just want to pocket the extra cash, the 1TB version of the PNY XLR 8 CS3140 would be worth considering. Number 6. TeamBrup MP33. For an even cheaper SSD option, you could opt for an older Gen 3 drive. In terms of sequential read slash write speeds, Gen 3 SSDs lay quite a bit behind both Gen 4 and Gen 5 SSD options. The TAMGROUP MP33 Gen 3 SSD comes with sequential read speeds of up to 1,800 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of up to 1,500 megabytes per second. That pales in comparison to the read-slash-write speeds available on newer generation NVMe drives. Still, though, Gen 3 NVMe SSDs aren't horrible options and, for real-world in-game performance the difference won't be as big as it is on paper. So, if you are working with an extremely tight budget, a cheap Gen 3 SSD isn't a bad option. The 1TB version of the MP33 comes in at just a little over $40. That puts it at the same price level as some of the cheapest 1TB SATA SSDs. And, while Gen 3 SSDs can't match Gen 4 or Gen 5 in performance, they will provide a significant boost over SATA drives. Ultimately, whether you're building a gaming PC with a tight budget, or you're looking for an upgrade for your existing desktop or laptop, this affordable Gen 3 SSD from TAMGROUP would be worth checking out. Number 7. Western Digital P50. If you're looking for a more portable option, then Western Digital's P50 is probably the right SSD choice for you. The P50 is widely regarded as being the best external SSD drive currently available. This external SSD from Western Digital is available in capacities of either 500GB, 1TB, 2TB, or 4TB. It also offers excellent performance, with sequential read speeds of 2000 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of 2000 megabytes per second across all versions. And, it comes with a rugged design that will offer more protection when you're on the go. But, ultimately, if you're looking for a portable external SSD that will allow you to take all of your important files on the go, then you can't do much better than the Western Digital P50.